What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks. I'm definitely back in the building. and uh, I'm going to go on a nice little topic today. I'm going to go in on all these guys that tell you they want you to leave. They want you to start an uprising. But yet, in their life, they haven't done anything, and they're still living in their mom or their grandmother's house. All right, let me go in. <laughs> oh, jeez, these videos are funny. All right, now, I watch a lot of assortment of videos, and I love watching these little uprisers and these these power movers, these, um, we want to call them, they say they want you to uprise, they want you to disassociate yourself from America. I'm talking about, like, black separatists revolutionists, etc., and so forth. They always want to tell you to leave, but yet, if you ever notice, they have a job, where most of them don't have a job. Most of them are living in their mother, and, and their, with their mother, or their father, or their, or their grandmother, living in the basement. But yet, they're not doing anything. But then, when I say something about this, I always get this reply from them. Well, you know it costs money. Look, if you're 30 years old, you should at least have enough money to go where you want to go. If, that, if you don't, why am I going to listen to you? <laughs> you haven't left yet. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. These hypocrites, man. They, they just It's just funny. Now, they'll tell you. They want you to rise up against the so quote-unquote white regime, this, that, and fifth. But what what, what, what what are they doing? And then when you, when you peg them down and like ask them, oh, I'm just giving advice. Well, here's some advice. Shut the fuck up, man. Come on. <laughs> None of y'all are going to do anything. You ain't going to bust a grape in a fruit fight. Get out of here. You're going to sit there looking stupid. Talking about start a revolution. And then number one, how are you going to start a revolution when you're spilling all the business on Facebook and, and YouTube? Come on. That's not how you... That's the opposite of starting a revolution. <laughs> I mean, this... Again, this is why peasants are not royalty you can tell the peasant between the world you can tell who's you know who has some swag to their what they're saying and who's just saying it just to say it because there's no way in hell i want to sit there and listen to advice to somebody who's living with their grandmother and they haven't the, look if you want to liberate somebody start liberating yourself with your from your grandmother show me a bill that you're paying <laughs> Maybe I'll believe that. Until you liberate yourself, I'm not listening to shit. I mean, then they, 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 they get mad because they had chance. Look, a lot of these guys had, and, and women too, a lot of them had chances in life. Don't let them fool you. A lot of them had chances in life and they blew it. And they're, they're, they're other failures. So now they want to become these like, all-knowing, well, I, I, I've been set up. I lost this. I lost that. Yeah, you lost it because you were stupid. You didn't think it out. Look, your impatience and your lack of decision making and your lack of taking responsibility is not my problem. There's some of us who want more things out of life. And, uh, and they always want to hate on somebody who they think is better than them. And look, man, or they always want somebody to spend, they want you to spend your money to fund their lifestyle. But then you ask them where their, where their money's going. Yeah, ask them that one. <laughs> They'll look at you like, you know how a dog will look at you cocking his, cocking his head back and forth whenever you start speaking in a high voice or start speaking to him in general. They'll look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's how they look at you. They want you to spend your money. They want you to open up. They want you, they want you to break bread with them. But, like, they're not willing to break their own bread to fund their, you know, where they want to go. And then they kill me because they want you to dissociate. Where are you, you going to go? I tell I told you folks and I told you people before. Ghana has, has offered and there's, still, there's lots of African countries still on the table offering land. Well, then they try to duck out with the excuses. Well, we're not African. And then they go, well, we can go to the coast because that's where the former slaves went. Wait a minute. You don't want to go to Ghana because you're not African. But you live, on the, you live on the coast where the former slaves went. Well, what were former slaves? I think they were African. <laughs> oh, these guys, these guys, man. These guys, I love it when I connect the dots with these guys. They, they are so funny. And, like, I can't believe 
people with rudimentary educations fall for this. Like it's, it's not so like they try to talk in circles, but they only get themselves twisted up. But it's so funny. The one one day I saw this guy goes, "We should move to the coast of Africa because that's where our former slaves went." I'm like, wait a minute. You don't want to move to Africa, inner Africa, because we're not Africans. You keep telling people we're not Africans. But at the same time, you want to move to the coast of Africa because the former slaves moved to the coast of Africa. And let me say, hold up. If former slaves were not born in America, where were the former slaves born at? Ding, Mr. Womack. Where were the slaves? Country slaves were born at for 3,000. What is Africa, Alex? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and you guys fall for this little, this, this little tap dance they do. This little, you know, it's like the hat with the hand, and the hat with the hands, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, my problem is not having too much fun on this video because just thinking about this. I'm like, how did they get away with this? And I'm like, people have to be that stupid? And I'm like, can I look who's talking to them? I'm like, yeah, they are. So, so don't fall for that. <laughs> that is so funny. We can't move to Africa because we're not Africans. We'll just move to the coast of Africa. Fuck out of here. Peace out. <laughs>